Okay guys, welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. Guys, long day. You clicked on this video because you want to know about that spring, late spring application of your pre-emergent. Right so, we got the Yard Mastery right here. This is the .38 and we got the Let's Go .86 right here, guys. This one comes from Home Depot. They have the Let's Go Stonewall at Lowe's, which is a .68, I think. And that one does contain prodiamine. This one does not contain prodiamine. It contains a chemical called pentamethylin in it. And what that is, is a pre and post emergent right there. Guys, this one works great for the summertime, excuse me, for the late spring, early spring application, because this can actually catch baby crabgrass when it grows up. And then we got the one that you all know about. That's the liquid right there. And it's not liquid right off the rip. You got to add water to it, but that's the Prodiamine Sunnyland Yard Mastery WDG 65. Okay, guys, side note, if you stay to the end, that's Prodiamine right there. That's this right there. I'm going to show you how to make that work even better. Stay to the end. And here's why you want to go ahead and put you down a spring application, guys. If you still have cool attempts and you still may have some pour that hadn't actually germinated, this could help. But we're really going after those summer weeds now, which is that main one, crabgrass. That's the main one that everybody tries to prevent. Understand that these pre-emergents are not crabgrass killers. If you have crabgrass already, this is not going to kill them. This is a preventer. This help actually helps prevent those weeds from actually growing in the yard or actually germinating, guys. So I'm going to say it one more time. If you have crabgrass, pre-emergent is not a crabgrass killer. Now, there's a couple of things you need to make sure that you already have. I got a Let's Go spreader because I got that Let's Go fertilizer. Anytime you buy the fertilizer and the spreader, it's an easy application. All you had to do is set it and forget it. We got the prize lawn right here, guys, and that's a Earthway product. I'm going to use that also, but the settings are a little bit difficult on that. Most of you guys will have a um, Scott spreader. If you got the Scott spreader, guys, look at the settings on the back of the the back and it's going to tell you exactly what to put that Scott spread on. More than likely it's going to say like five or five and a half. Okay, but before you do all that guys, you need to mow your lawn as low as you can get it. I've stated in one of those little shorts I did, pre-emergent works when it's touching the soil. If you got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten inch Bermuda, <laughs> it's not going to work like it's supposed to because that granular or liquid has to get to the soil. Cut the grass as low as you can get it, or even scalp it, and then apply this pre-emergent. Now guys, if you have a yard full of weeds, I'll, I keep saying this, make sure you bag those weeds up. Don't mulch the weeds back into the lawn, guys. So people say, hey, you're applying too much pre-emergent. Guys, all I can say is read the bag and get on your pre-emergent program. Now, April 15th is the date that I selected for my last pre-emergent application for the spring, summer, and leading into fall right here. The reason I'm going back with some more is because I already did one in February. This is going to be extended control right here for my lawn, guys. 0.38, that's not that much right there. Um, now, for Prodiamine, they say 0.83. Read the bag before you apply, guys. Same way here. This is a 0.86, but it's not prodiamine. It's pentamethylin. And if you read the back of the bag, it says you can apply four weeks after the initial application. Let me show you that real quick. Guys, if you flip the bag over, I'm dealing with Bermuda grass. They got St. Augustine, Bahia, Zoysia, Centipede, Tall Fescue. These are the type of grasses that we're dealing with for this application. If you read the back of the bag, it'll tell you what is, is controlled for these particular gr southern grasses right now, guys. I'm really going after the crabgrass and uh, what's the other one that I have a lot? Um, Spurge. Spurge. It's on there too. And it tells you right here, guys, apply a repeat application of 2.7 pounds to 4 pounds per 1,000 square feet after a minimum of four weeks if necessary. And what that mean by necessary, guys, if you have a lawn that's always prone to weeds, I would do another application. Now, if you don't, then I wouldn't worry about it. Normally, this would be done early spring, but the flip-flop weather, you got to decide what you want to be on. Yard Mastery has a great program that you can get on, and it'll tell you exactly when you should apply it for your particular area. 
Okay, one of the advantages of buying the stuff in the store, look, it tells you the spreaders. Let's go. I got a let's go, so I'm going to put mine on 15. Since this is my second application, extended control, 4.04, that's 4.04. 4 pounds 4.04 pounds i'll be spreading per 1000 square feet if i hadn't applied any i'm going at the heaviest rate 5.3 right here pounds i'll put on 17 if you got a scott spreader guys it's down here scott spreader 5.5 well, byd what about this prodiamine 65 wdg guys let me explain something to you this is a little bit more technical right here. I got a four gallon sprayer. This is going to cover 4,000 square feet. If you want to know how to mix it, you don't just pour it in this right here, guys. You're going to actually need a scale. Click on that link over there in that corner over there, and that'll take you straight to that video to show you how to actually mix it and prepare it for your backpack spray. Okay, guys, as you can see, I got a fresh mow in, guys. And here we are, I think mid-April, still having... Um, we're still greening up here guys, but you can see BYD that mean oh mean mean green don 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 oh my dollar but look we gotta go ahead and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Now I think this front part I'm gonna I'm gonna put the uh I'm gonna go with the let's go on this section right in here. Alright my yard mastery I'm going to put on this section right here, okay? And the liquid pro diamine, I'm going to hit on my vanity strips. And on the backyard, I think I'm going to go with the liquid pro diamine back here also. Okay, guys, look, I'm just going to show you. My let's go is set on 15. I'm going to go ahead and pour this in here, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to the front, this part right here. Check it out. Okay guys, now this is the Ryobi hand spray. I've been putting it in work. It works off the 18 volt battery, so let me put one in. It's hard to reach areas right here where you see like my vanity strip. This works great. It's a reverse of the um, Scott's one, but this, this, this is a beast. Check it out. All right, and the ones that's on the concrete, I take the blower, blow it back. The reason I did it from the outside to the inside, so I won't leave that much out there. These hard to reach areas like this, this is a beast. Okay guys, pre-emerge is not just for the lawns, it's also for rock beds. I got a video, click on that link up top and you'll see that video. And guys, these hand crank ones, they also work just as well. Not that expensive, but they work also. Okay, Yard Finance. Now, what you're looking at right here, guys, this is my natural weed killer. Made a video for this. If you got poor or any other type of weeds, Dallas grass, one skeet, that's it, guys. But listen, watch the video before you actually use this formula. That's all you need. Click on that link above to watch it or just wait to the end of the video. Okay, guys, this is the four gallon Ryobi. It's going to do about 4,000 square feet. I'm through with this. Check this out. This battery comes out of here. And it plugs right in there. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so everybody's waiting on the cheat code. Guys, here's the cheat code. After you put that granular down, take a hose in sprayer 
and spray your yard. Now this is Spectracide 460. I recommend Spectracide 470. Spray it according to the square feet on there. You have to water it in based on this, not the pre-emergent. If you use this, if you blanket spray your yard, water it in based on when they tell you to water it in using this. This is how you make the liquid WDG work better. You can spike your tank with a lawn weed killer, not a, not a um, kill everything, grass and weed killer, lawn weed killer, weed kill for lawns, that right there. This kills over 230 types of weeds and it's basically a 2,4-D. It's not gonna knock out everything, guys. You have to read the label. This is not gonna kill poor, not gonna kill Dallas grass and a few more. Okay, and this is me applying it to the vanity strip. Whole lot easier, less messy. Check it out. Okay, you are for next. Look, the last thing you need to do is just get your blower. Get all those granulars off the concrete. Okay, guys, normally I ask at the beginning, but guys, please click the subscription button. Ring that notification bell. Every time BYD uploads a video, you'll be notified by YouTube, guys. And I got one more video I need you to click on. Click right here, guys. That's going to show you a little bit more about pre-emergent.